What's going on guys? Dr. D from One Hive Invicta here bringing you a, a war recap from uh, a random elite war that we had with Barbarian Party. Um, many of you people will know Barbarian Party from the uh, popular YouTuber who is part of that clan and that is Clash with Cam. Um, at any rate, uh, let's real quick run through our six packs and then just get into the war attacks. So we had four Town Hall 9s with six packs this war. There were some very, very tough Town Hall 9 bases. Um, Clutch, the leader of uh, One Hive Swarm, had himself a six pack. Uh, Paragon Hunter, uh, <laughs> you know, um, there are three things that are certain in life, and that appears to be death, taxes and a six pack from Paragon Hunter. So congrats to you. Uh, King, who um, is, is an old 2.0 guy, um, went down to Swarm for a while, is back up in Invicta now, had himself a six pack, a really cool attack that we're going to watch. Um, and then HB also had a six pack and we're going to check out one of her attacks, which is really awesome. All right, without further ado, let's look at the war statistics. So here are the basic war statistics. You can see that we lost by one star, but they also had us by percent. And what this really came down to was attacks on the 10s and 11s, and, and primarily um, one Town Hall 11. Uh, let's have a look. So you can see here um, they were able to two star all of our Town Hall 11s, um, three star a, a, a couple of our 10s. Um, and then, of course, clear all of our nines. Ooh, not quite all of our nines. There's one open nine right there. Um, on the other side, uh, we did clear all of their nines. Um, however, we did not have uh, all of the elevens cleared. And you can see right here, Frank to tank, 43%, uh, one star. Um, if we look, he actually had four defenses. So uh, pretty decent. Uh, more decent though was number nine. Um, if you look, there are, uh, I mean, Wiser wound up uh, getting a 99% two star, um, but this with seven defenses. Uh, this base, I'm not going to show it, but props to you. This is a 9.5, and this is a pretty stout 9.5 who was able to, to handle seven attacks um, and still not get tripled. So uh, that hurt us a little bit, that 99%. Um, this, of course, hurt us. Uh, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, props to these guys. It was a nice win. Um, and they're a, a good group of guys over there. As I said, um, you can check out some of their videos. It's um, Clash with Cam. So let's go ahead and look at some of the war attacks here. We're going to start with number 11. Um, and this was Cass. And I really like what Cass does here. So this was a cleanup hit. He knew that there was a black bomb right up here, and he's going to bring his queen, but he starts by setting a funnel and then dropping a loon to soak up that black bomb so it doesn't take out one of his healers. Uh, notice down here, we've got baby drags that are setting a funnel, and if you look at the troop comp, you can see that it's going to be a blue veiler. So the queen is going. I think he intended for the queen to get that AD. She did not move in there and get it. Um, it, it doesn't matter. He's got his, his uh, funnel set here to make sure that his, his Valks go inside. Right here is where they're going to go in. Uh, queen is working her way up here. She's eventually going to get to the enemy queen. Um, and as soon as she does, he drops a poison and a rage, takes care of that enemy queen, and then in come the Valks. Valks, BK, and uh, um, Bowlers. Of course, uh, he has to clear out the CC as well, and that's really, I guess, what he was waiting for. Not so much the enemy queen, but the CC. Um, Valks rip in there. Um, unfortunately, they rip into the right compartment initially, um, and then they leave and they go back to the other one. So the, the Bowlers never get a chance to move over towards that other air defense. And it's going to wind up picking off all of these healers as, as he starts moving up here. Um, oh, I guess it was that air defense that picked off the healers. It, it doesn't matter because at, at this point, there's only a few po point defenses left. The queen still has all of her healers, and he's just lost all of his bowlers right there. All but one, I guess. So uh, king is working his way around with some uh, Valks, going to take out this... Um, Tesla farm, uh, clean things up a little bit. 
on the outside, uh, queen comes around, she's going to finish out these point defenses that are behind this wall, and then whatever is left is going to start making its way up to the uh, final couple of defenses up here. We've got a cannon and an air defense. Unfortunately, the queen is able to get to those fairly easy. Doesn't have to break through any walls, and that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Cass. All right. Um, we're going to have a look at number 12 here. This was an attack by King. Um, this was a fresh hit. I, I, th I think it's cool to show this. So uh, number 12, um, you can see only uh, one defense. Um, it was only one attack on it. It was hit by King. Um, and I want to show something else quick because I think this is a this is a, a little known fact in 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 the Clash of Clans world, or at least some people don't know about this. But uh, you can see there's uh, in in this clan castle uh, there's a thirty thirty troop count, so there's something in there. We don't know what. Uh, King's plan was actually to kill this clan castle with dragons. It's it's nice because this. This base has a natural funnel. The funnel um, ends kind of right here, and so if you drop your dragons where he did, uh, there's nothing along that path. He, there's a nice highway to keep those dragons right where they should be. Um, quakes out the core here, knowing that he can get to all four of these air defenses before um, they become an issue for the dragons because they're just going to continue to push all the way up along this route. Now, um, right here, the dragons destroy that CC, and in come three golems, his funnel is set, and it's time to go in and get those air defenses. So in they go, one air defense is down, pretty soon we will have two air defenses down right there. Um, at this point, that kill squad is in range of the CC, and it would have pulled that CC had it not been destroyed. And so what happens is if you're able to destroy a CC before uh, the troops come out, then the CC, the troops never do wind up coming out. So uh, dragons are continuing to work their way around over there. Um, basically, this, this base is done. You can see it's just wrecked. Uh, just a couple of defenses left, a, a troll Tesla up there. This is a bad spot for a troll Tesla. Um, well, I, I mean, it's not, a, it's not a fantastic spot, the, at least when you have drags, because it's out in the middle of, of nowhere, it's wide open. Um, a, a dragon can go straight to that Tesla and, and not wind up being stuck behind something and having to get soaked up uh, or having to soak up damage while it pushes through it. But <laughs> drops a wizard up there. The wizard was actually taking care of a hut that was up at the 12 o'clock spot. Um, dragons are going to finish up this stuff here. And, oh, I guess there is one building there that caused a little bit of trouble. Uh, queen and king are down here. And that is it. We'll speed that up. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job on the fresh hit by king. All right. And I should note, King um, had a six pack this war. I didn't, uh, so I didn't, I didn't pull up the six packs, but he he was one. Um, HB, let's check this out. So this is a really really cool attack by HB. You can look at her troop count down there. She just dropped a baby dragon, but she's got um, a queen walk, um, two golems, one hound, and a CC full of bowlers. This is a very weird base, and these these new meta bases um, require some. Uh, kind of creative uh, attacking uh, the, the the normal kind of spam things in are, are a lot more difficult and HB tends to be really great with this I've I've um, made videos of her doing queen walks with um, uh, the the go the the stoned hobo or go hobo and it's not usually not a stoned one um, and queen walks with all kinds of stuff and so here is a queen walk with a bolalo um, and she gets huge value. So she's taken out four point defenses, one air defense at this point. Um, I think she kind of intended for the, the queen to continue working down the right side, which, which doesn't happen. I don't know, maybe she didn't. Um, but the queen starts uh, coming up towards the 12 o'clock. And this is, a, this is a tough funnel. Look at all these high HP buildings that, that she's got up here. And we're going to speed this up just a little bit. Jump goes down. In comes the bowlers. You can see 
it's tough to pull those bowlers in when all of those high HP buildings are there. Now, fortunately, the queen hops in, and watch what the healers do here. I mean, healers switch off and and start healing the um, golem because uh, the the queen and the king take up roughly 25 troop spaces, and a golem takes up 30. So uh, healers will switch targets um, in that case, uh, and so. It, it works fine though because this queen is staying behind this golem until right there, unfortunately. But in comes a hound and the air attack. She has one air defense left, that is it. Uh, the really cool thing about this attack, which you, you don't see very often, is every single bowler lives through this. Usually at least one is going to catch a spring or something like that, but you can see she's got four down here. Got the fifth one right there. Um, the loons are coming up, taking out these uh, last few defenses. If you remember, she had nine loons that she brought with her. Um, takes out one wizard tower and a second wizard tower. And those are the big threats to loons. Um, these loons are going to finish off this last defense right here. Loons with a little bit of help, and that is it. Three stars in the bag. Nice job, HB. Okay, moving on. We're gonna watch Sensor, who comes with a uh, a Govaho with bowlers in the CC. And so the the, the concern here was um, getting to that enemy queen. So just enough. To, well, the, there was technically eight spaces there, and he should have been able to wall break through there, but he wasn't quite able to get those spells perfectly on point. Um, but uh, no worries, because you can see he's got at least one Rage down there, and um, five Valks, which are going to rip through that anyway. A Spring Trap on the outside catches, catches a wall breaker, which is crazy. I never see Spring Traps on the outside. Who does that? Uh, in with all of those Valks, and as the uh, kill squad pushes in here, you're going to see that they're going to distract an awful lot of stuff, which opens up an opportunity for the um, hogs that he's going to send in. So, uh, doesn't, doesn't have any poison for the CC, winds up having... <coughs> To heal in order to keep uh, keep those troops moving through there, but unfortunately loses all but one Valkyrie when that CC comes out. Hogs start trickling in over here now, um, and the hogs actually do a fantastic job. And he's almost to that enemy queen. There it is. Now hogs are going to get wrecked here. There's three bombs now. Fortunately, they're under heal for two of them, but. Bam, that last one, and with a wizard tower pounding on them after they just taken a, a big bomb. They're not going to make it through. Bowlers start working their way in with the king and the queen, and that single Valk is still up. Um, we're going to speed this up just a little bit. He still has his queen's ability. You can see he's got a fair amount of cleanup to do here. Uh, still has two point defenses and two splash defenses, a, a, a mortar and um, even worse, a whiz tower, but hasn't used the queen's ability just yet. He will here in just a second. And there we go. That is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job censored. All right. And the last one we're going to look at today is Ruda. This is a really cool attack. So um, Ruda is taking a kind of a variation on the, the queen walk baby drag attack that we've been seeing quite a bit lately. Um, and you'll notice uh, right here there is a highway right through the base. Now, if you can get bowlers to jump into that highway, they can wreck everything in this compartment, everything in this compartment, everything in this compartment, and everything in this compartment, and this one, um, and probably this one. Uh, and that's exactly what he does. So um, I tried to do a, a similar attack. It was an air attack here. 
but my jump did not quite cover that compartment. I was trying to stretch it so I would hit the queen, um, and that, no need to. Um, shouldn't have worried, worried about that at all. Should have just made sure that I hit that, that highway. At any rate, there goes the bowlers right into that highway, and they are just going to smash stuff all the way through here. Rage comes down, and there we go. Air defenses are all gone at that point, and so are a whole lot of other defenses. Queen is working her way around up there, but in comes the baby dragons, and we'll speed this up now. Uh, he just kind of trickles them in all the way around, try and keep them spread out enough so that they all stay enraged, and they just wreck this base. He, he brought a hound, um, but the hound was kind of completely unneeded. Once it pops, it's, it's helpful, um, but he had every air defense down well before uh, the hound was needed. So very nice job, Ruta. Great attack. So uh, that is it. Um, this was, like I said, uh, a fun war with um, a really great clan, a, C, a CWL clan. Um, hopefully we can uh, arrange something in the future and, and get a little bit of revenge with these guys. But this is Dr. D signing off.